It's hard to imagine what it must be like to be a passenger on a boat that is sinking in the middle of the freezing cold ocean. But that's exactly what happened to Doreen Horwood. She was one of the 154 people on the cruise ship, the MS Explorer, which hit an iceberg on November 23, 2007 and sunk near the Antarctic. We spoke to her to find out what was going through her mind when the boat started sinking. When were you first aware of the ship sinking? Well, actually, I was actually there when it hit the icebergs. <laughs> within, probably from that, within about um, 20 minutes. Where on the ship were you when it sunk? Well, I was actually in the wheelhouse, which is on the bridge. So I was actually, yeah, I was actually on the bridge in the wheelhouse, you know, where they were steering, and uh, I could see the ice, obviously, all in front. <laughs> What emotions were you going through when the ship sunk? Well, it was obviously um, quite worrying, you know, because uh, you obviously expect to not be in that situation. But largely people were very... Um, they were very calm, there wasn't any panic, and I think it didn't seem real to a lot of people. Lorraine had her camera with her when the ship was evacuated and she showed us lots of photographs she took while she was waiting to be rescued. Look, you can Quite see weary. the boat in the background. Yeah, and he's got his hands on her shoulder, look, and they're looking at the ship going down. Oh, wow. How do you feel about the rescue mission? Well, I was very glad <laughs> to see the rescue ship and we first saw it and it was just um, a tiny light on the horizon and it seemed a long time being on the lifeboat, it was about six hours. But the interesting thing about being on the lifeboat was um, there's a bird called the snow petrel, and it's a, it's a white bird, and um, they kept flying around the lifeboats, and, but they're, what they're known as is the angel of the Antarctic. So I like to think there was an angel watching over us while we was in those lifeboats. It's really lucky because the weather, it's the worst sea in the world and it's never calm and on that particular day it was calm so it was very lucky yeah are you thinking of the titanic when the ship was sinking yes it, it did come up because there were some similarities and i think it's the only uh, passenger ship that's actually uh, of that sort of size that's actually sunk since the titanic <laughs> there's been sort of ferries but passenger ships i think it's quite rare so yeah what lasting effect has this had on you? Well, I think it makes you appreciate, um, you know, that you can be quite near to something very disastrous and it makes you realise that uh, life's very short and that you should always enjoy every moment of it because you never know what's going to happen, do you? Yeah, so try to be happy.